feet tall. An arm length advantage of two and a half inches for the Colombian right-hand puncher. They both weighed in one pound over the limit as agreed to on contract. And Miranda seems to have gone up to 173 pounds unofficially overnight. Gibbs in tight shape, only 164. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Edison Miranda. Willie Gibbs fight is scheduled for 10 rounds, not title, using the new fight rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. A case of cuts caused by an accidental headbutt. We go to the score cuts if the four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell of any round, including the 10th and final round. Jim. Willie Gibbs found a gladiator mask at a thrift shop, so he's nicknamed the gladiator. Lennox, he does an interesting thing. Philadelphia gym fighter. Goes to Boston before his fights to think before the training began. Well, that's very important. He has to do what he does best and what, what makes him feel good. If he needs to get away from uh, his surroundings because his surroundings may influence him or bother him and get away to Boston to clear his head so he can focus on a game plan, that's what he needs to do. A closer look at Willie Gibbs now with Max Kellerman. Well, he's Bernard Hopkins' cousin by marriage. His cousin married Bernard Hopkins, and he doesn't seem to really know Bernard that well, but he seems to admire him. He's raising, Willie Gibbs is, not only his son, but also his little brother, who he's trying to legally adopt. And he, too, like our first two fighters, Jim, can neglect defense. I like that. There's no question that one panned out for both fighters in the... He, too, happily can neglect defense. May we never have another boxing after dark fighter who doesn't neglect defense. Four for four tonight. We're very happy about that. Let's go to Lupe Contreras for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Mikasuki Resort and Casino, we welcome you to an evening of boxing after dark, being brought to you by main events in association with Seminoles Warriors Boxing, Capiello Promotions, and Rockstar Energy Drink. Party like a rock star. This is tonight's main attraction. 10 rounds of boxing in the middleweight division. The judges scoring the bout are Michael Pernish, John Rupert, and Peter Trematerra. Our referee, Tommy Kimmins. And now, ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros from Miami, Florida, we find out who is El Mas Macho. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he steps into the ring wearing the black trunks trimmed in purple and weighing in at an official 161 pounds. His professional record, 20 victories with one lone defeat and 16 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Willie, the Gladiator Gibbs. Across the ring in the red corner. He steps in wearing the multicolored trunks and weighing in 
at an identical 161 pounds. As a professional, he maintains a record consisting of 26 victories with one lone defeat and 23 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Representing Barranquilla, Colombia and fighting out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, Edison Pantera Miranda. Okay, Willie, your trunks are good here. Edison, yours are good here. All right, guys, this is a 10-round main event, and I gave you the instructions. I want to remind you, this audience here to watch you fight, so keep it clean. Touch them up. <laughs> Edison Miranda believes he was not given a level playing field in his fight against Arthur Abraham in September. Getting back into the ring with Abraham has become a holy grail for him. Is it too much on his mind as he gets ready for pace to face Willie Gibbs? Guys are two physical specimens. I mean, in shape. Well, that's what people love about the middleweight division, where you can see both muscle and skill. Miranda has been called by some a middleweight who punches like a cruiserweight. Gibbs is a guy who, in his last fight against Lenard Pierre in March, trailed on two cards by three points going into the last round, knocked Pierre down twice in that round, finally knocked him out with seven seconds to go. So he, like Jose Hernandez in our first fight tonight, has shown the ability to come from behind and score a knockout to win. Miranda's reach is really unbelievable. He has long, long arms. And in round one, it looks as though Gibbs wants to keep considerable distance between himself and Edison Miranda. Miranda with a long jab to the body, and now Gibbs goes in, trying to land a lead right hand. Good left hook inside by Willie Gibbs. Miranda's first right hand of the fight. We're looking at really in Miranda is a spectacular right-handed punching knockout artist. And that's what Gibbs really has to watch for is the big right hand. Gibbs is not throwing a good jab to me. He needs to really step in a bit closer so he can connect with that jab. Doesn't really seem committed to the jab yet, Lennox. He's still waiting, waiting on Miranda, trying to work off of what Miranda's doing right now when he, sh he needs to really dictate, dictate the pace in there. I think he wants to get a sense of Miranda's power first, champ. Well, he, you know, if you look at Miranda, if you look at his back, it looks like a big fan of muscle. <laughs> Unbelievable shape, great physique for boxing. Yeah, I can't imagine that any opponent would have too much doubt about Miranda's power. The record is there, the 23 straight knockouts coming out of Colombia. And, as Max points out, just look at him physically, you can see how muscularly he's built. Not that Gibbs is any slouch, of course. But Miranda is heavy for a little There's the right hand, hand, hand that knocked oh. Gibbs silly. And this is why Miranda's seen as a, as a potential star. He turned Gibbs all the way around. Gibbs does not go around. One punch. One right hand did that. Unbelievable. Oh, Jim, it looked like. Yo, that sent him down cross Nine, street. Ten, he did not down down after that. He's up to be counted out. Willie Gibbs listened to 10 from referee Tommy Timmons and nodded as if he thought he was okay. 
He was on his knees while he listened to the count. That's when you don't know how badly you've been hurt. Only possible explanation. Gibbs seemed to feel he was in great shape as he listened to the referee on the, and, and took the count. We will talk in this era of, of Edison Miranda's punching power, the way people in other eras talk about Julian Jackson's punching power, Benny Briscoe's punching power. He will be remembered as the spectacular punching middleweight of this era. And let me tell you, you got hit on the top of the head, not on the chin, on the top of the head. And when you can hit a guy on the top of the head and hurt him like that, you've got some serious punching power. I can't wait to see the replay. I mean, it, it, this did not look at first like anywhere near the devastation that ultimately ensued. One right hand punch from Miranda changed Willie Gibbs' career. Because Gibbs came in with a record of 20 and 1 and considerable confidence about his prospects in the fight. And here's a look, Lennox. And here it comes. Over the top. Gibbs didn't even see that punch. It sent him on Queer Street, didn't know what was happening. Then Miranda came in there and finished him off. You know, when the referee's not seeing any punches thrown back, that, that's what leads him into stopping a fight. So he wasn't seeing anything from Gibbs. Gibbs went down. Amazingly, Miranda never really landed anything solidly in that rally. He got a couple of right hands onto Gibbs' chin, but nothing like the one punch that created the opportunity. And that was a perfect counter right hand over a lazy jab by Gibbs. And you pointed out early, Lennox, he wasn't committing to his jab. He wasn't throwing it with any mustard on it. Miranda took advantage of that. When you're in there, you, you, uh, you, you got to let a guy feel your jab, know that he, you're in there, and that he has something, something to fear when he's going in there. If he fears that jab, if he's getting hit by that jab, then he's going to think about throwing that right hand. Let's go to Lupe Contreras for the official particulars on the knockout by Miranda. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, two minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round, your winner. By way knockout de Barranquilla, Colombia, Edison Pantera Miranda. Edison Miranda justifies all the hype. Pompey box numbers on the one round of this fight. Miranda landing 12 to eight for Gibbs. Neither fighter threw a bunch. It was a relatively cautious first round, right up until the moment when Gibbs threw a lazy jab and Edison Miranda countered over it with a right hand and changed Willie Gibbs' career instantly. Nobody likes to have that KO one or KO by one on their record. And Gibbs now has a KO by one. And his only excuse is, well, I fought Edison Miranda. Let's go to Max Kellerman now, standing by with Edison Pantera Miranda. Wow. What were you trying to do in that first round? I came to do my job. I came to do my work as we had planned with my trainer. Were you looking for the knockout early? Yes, that's what we were looking for, it, early. Without getting desperate, because I knew when I was going to connect, he, wasn't be able, he wouldn't be able to understand it. It looked to me that it was a right hand on the top of the head, one right hand against a guy with a pretty good chin. Do you have that much confidence in your punching power? Obviously, those kind of shots get guys out of there. My trainer, Jose Bonilla, and I knew that he came to come in with the right hand, but we kept working on it, and we kept improving. And I wanted for him to come in with the right hand, and I would come in and respond with the right hand. You've been talking a lot about Arthur Abraham. Is that the fight you most want right now, even though in this country, Jermaine Taylor and Winky Wright are bigger names? I like Jermaine Taylor. Jermaine Taylor, that's what I want. And it will be a quick one also, just like tonight. Arthur Abraham will be a quick one, but is that the guy you want next? If HBO gives me that Christmas present to bring Arthur Abraham to the United States, I'm ready to fight for him, but in America. You, but you seem a little bit hung up on Abraham. The recognized champion is Jermaine Taylor. 
if you can't get an Abraham fight in this in the States, is are you looking at Jermaine Taylor? Jermaine Taylor? Well, la verdad que no quisiera tomarlo de Abraham como una venganza. I don't want to have vengeance against Abraham, but if the opportunity arises to Jermaine Taylor, I will take Jermaine Taylor. Thank you for a spectacular night. To him, he's like my brother. I'd like to thank God. And thank you, HBO. Thankfully, from the bottom of my heart. Dedicated to whom? Carlos Indio Quintana from Puerto Rico. Oh, who just lost to Miguel Cotto. Okay, they're friends. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Jim. All right, thanks very much, Max Lennox. Let's cover one point. Uh, Willie Gibbs looked at the referee, appeared to think that he knew what he was doing, and waited the count all the way to 10. What, what's your take? I, I don't know what happened like that because I, I need to see it over again because I thought he beat the count, and then when the, when the bell rings, that means he beats the count and he gets to go back to his corner, but I definitely need to see that again. Uh, well, let's take a look at it here. We're going to show it, Lennox, and the bottom line is, the bell saves you only in the last round. So he can be counted out regardless of the bell for the round. Now look at Gibbs. That's eight. That's ten. And now Gibbs gets up. I don't know. I think that's a, a kind of premature stoppage in a sense because he did wait for the count. He looked at the referee. He waited for the count. Then when the referee reached nine, he got up. That's when the referee stopped it. He didn't even say, walk towards me, let me see if you're okay. And remember, this was the first round, one shot. He should have been allowed to continue a little bit. I'm not 100% certain. I think maybe he confused nine for 10. Uh, it, it's possible the referee made it all the way to 10. Max, final word on what you saw from Edison Miranda? Wow. This guy, you know, we say, I, I mentioned earlier that he overcomes his lack of craft with that kind of punching power. But now that we've seen him, can you imagine if he acquires more craft, he has the wingspan of a jet plane, and he has Ernie Shavers-like punching power. I can't wait to see Edison Miranda challenge not only Arthur Abraham in a rematch, but Jermaine Taylor, Winky Wright, and whoever else is at 160 pounds. I'd like to see him fight them all um, on the one night. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, go around. I don't think he'd turn it down. No. And incidentally,